All right, boys and girls, welcome to Garden Guitar. L. James Ray, that is the first time here on Garden Guitar. And uh, in my head, I just imagined a mix between Steven Sanchez and perhaps Elvis or so. And don't judge me on that, fans of Sanchez or Elvis. This is just my quick spontaneous reflection about his song here, this specific song and Elliot's style. Anyway, a nice song from him. And this one is called I Think They Call This Love. Okay, so uh, making guitar tutorials, I think that is love actually. So let's do this together guys. And uh, yeah, this is a piano based song. And sometimes that could be a little bit tricky, a lot of extra notes here and there, but this one is just a very straightforward strumming uh, or playing on the piano, so it's very easy to cover this and make it on a guitar. So let's start this one up, and the challenge here in this song is um, numbers of chords. All right, so the playing is pretty easy, chords are pretty easy, but we have 10 chords. So yeah, let's start to run through there, starting with C. So you have third on A, second on G, open G, first B, and open E. A minor next, that is open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. We have D minor, and that is open D, second G, third B, first E, we have G, and that is third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, third E, we have E, and that is open E, second A, second D, first G, open B, and open E, and we have F. That's a bar chord where you play the bar on the first fret. You cover all strings there, and then you need to add third on A, third on D, and second on G. I'll make a stop here because these are the bass chords, basic chords for the song. But then after the solo part and the ending parts, everything goes up a notch there and it gets higher, and then we need to replace chords with some completely new chords for new chords there. So that will be uh, to continue with D, and that is open D, second G, third B, and second E. We have B minor. So we have a bar on the second fret now. You bar five strings from bottom and up like this, and then you need to add fourth on D, fourth on G, and third on B. We have E minor. That is open E, second A, second D, open G, open B, open E, and the final, final chord will be A. And that is open A, second D, second G, second B, and open E. All right, so there we have all the chords. Not too hard, just a lot to memorize or handle. Could be like that, but yeah, I think we'll manage. Let's do this together, starting now to learn the strumming. And we have C as the first chord. All right, so grab that one. And one full round will be about six downs. So uh, like this. Okay. Notice I'm highlighting the fourth down. So I'm playing one, two, three, and then on the fourth, I go down and play on the higher strings. All the other downs I play in the mid bass area. And then on the fourth down, I go down here. And then I go back on the five and six and play in the mid bass area again. So one string around like this. couple rounds okay and I just want to mention sometimes we need to split this strumming into two parts and then the first part will be the first three downs okay so we just split right in the middle so first three downs is part one 
Now we're ready for a song, so let's learn the first verse. You have a chord progression that goes C1, A minor 1, D minor 1, and G1. You're gonna play that for two rounds, and that is the verse play. So one string around per chord, C, A minor, D minor, G, two rounds, it goes like this. Again, C, A minor, D minor, G. All right, that's the first verse. And then we have the pre-course. You're gonna play one round only of this chord progression, and the chord progression goes E1, A minor 1, E1, then comes A minor part 1, just the down, 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 then G, part one again, the down, 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 and then F, one full round, and then you play the final G, just one down and the pause, and that pause builds up for the chorus. So E1, A minor one, E1, A minor part one, G part one, F one, and G one down, like this. We're ready for the chorus, and uh, yeah, I think we are the lyrics, all I dream for is your eyes, something like that. And that is the chorus play, we're gonna play C, A minor, D minor, and G for two rounds. That's the same as the verse play, and we're gonna start like that, and then you're gonna end with F1, G1, then A minor part one, G part one, D minor, one full round, F, one full round, and one down on G, and the pause. So two rounds of verse play, C, A minor, D minor, G, and then F, G, and then A minor part one, G part one, D minor, F, and one down on G. So I don't think we have to go through the verse play, but the final part here of the chorus goes F1, G1, A minor, G, D minor, F and G and the pause. All right, so that is the end of the chorus. So um, after this first chorus comes the instrumental part and you're gonna play the verse play for one round. So C1, A minor one, D minor one and G1. That takes us to the second round of everything. So the second verse, you have the same chords, C, A minor, D minor, G for two rounds, but now instead of playing the strumming, you will just play one down per chord. So one down, big pauses in between, as if you would play the strumming. So big R there, so. for two rounds all right that is the second verse and then over to the second pre-chorus played in the exact same way as the first one and the same goes actually with the second chorus no changes there played in the same way as the first one we just learned and uh, then we have the second instrumental part and it goes um, C1 A minor 1 F1 and G one down and the pause, all right? So that is the instrumental part, almost as the verse play, but you have replaced the D minor with an F and then you just play one down on the final G with this pause. Why pause there in the second instrumental part? Because that builds up for the solo part that comes right now. at about two minutes and two seconds into the song. And now we have this uh, new chords we're gonna work with till the very end, so to speak. Everything goes up a couple, uh, yeah, two frets. Uh, that means uh, on the fretboard here, if you wanna know that, you don't have to really, but I can just mention the chords. So you're gonna play in the same way, okay? Same strumming, no changes there. But now you play D1, B minor 1, E minor 1, and A1. You're gonna play that for two rounds to start with. So, D, B minor, E minor, A, again. Okay, 
two rounds of that, and then you continue with G1, A1, B minor one, uh, sorry, B minor part one, A part one, then E minor one, G1, and one down on A. So G, A, B minor, A, E minor, G, A. Okay? Then you go to the third course, okay? And that is now the final parts of this song. You're gonna play in the same way as you played the solo, the D1, B minor one, E minor one, and A1. Uh, you play that all for two rounds, and then you go to G, A, B minor, A, E minor, G, A. In the same way as you play the solo, basically. You play everything that you played in the solo for one round, exactly the same, you repeat it. And then you have the final parts of this chorus, or the outro, you can say. You're gonna play G1, A1, and then you pre replace that again, uh, replay that again, G1 and A1. So for two rounds, G, A, and then you're gonna play G1, A1 down on a pause. And then the final end will be D1, B minor one, E minor one, and A1 with a pause, and then you end on the A. So the outro part there, I'm gonna take you through that. So basically the third course after the solo was to play again this solo in exact same way you finished it, you played it, and then I'm gonna take you through from there on and you're gonna play G1, A1, again, G1, A1, now G1, A, and pause, and then D. B minor, E minor one, A, pause, and then you end with D. And that's the end of uh, L. James Ray. I think they call this love. So a uh, nice song there if you love the style of Sanchez or so. That's what I connect this song to in this genre, then you would love this one as well. So give it a try guys, and I hope uh, this was educational and helped you. If it did, leave me a like on this tutorial, and I'm happy. Thank you so much, and play tuned.